Hello, everyone. Uh, as usual, I am on the lookout for the updates from the DOT, uh, you know, the Department of Transportation, new rules and regulations for um, travel, air travel for the disabled, and especially for those with wheelchairs. So that will be coming out. Um, the DOT asked for they put out a provisional and they asked for feedback from all of us and that all that feedback had to be given in no later than May 13th, which is already passed. So now they have to gather all this information and look at the rules and regulations that they put together and what they what the people, the people us supported, what we wanted added, what we wanted taken out. So I am on the uh, lookout for that. Um, I'm also going to post in this video uh, our Bill of Rights, the current one. So I will put a link in the description box. Um, it hasn't come out. I expect that it might take a couple of months for you know, people to put it together, to write it up, and to publicize it. So I'm just kind of looking around, keeping my eye open. If any of you see it come out, uh, let me know so I can make a video about it so we're all up to date and we're all on the same page. Um, I'm also waiting to see what Delta decides to do with the um, new uh, section that they're developing for wheelchair users as we uh, take our wheelchairs into the aircraft and then they, they, they're, they're hoping to buckle us down, I think, in a space they've created um, up front. So we have to wait for all this. I mean, it's good news that the DOT is paying attention uh, to our plight in terms of having to fly and the things we have to go through. Um, you know, recently I had, a, I had an issue. I'm not going to mention the airline, uh, but uh, the, I spoke to them sternly, let's, let's put it that way, <laughs> and uh, they, they said yes, that they would go back to their staff and, you know, do some extra training, all that kind of stuff, so they were open to that, so I said get to it, because um, soon you're going to be faced with other rules and regulations from our Department of Transportation and you got to be ready for that. So, and you've suffered enough, you've had to pay out enough, so let's, let's stop the bleed and uh, help us uh, be able to fly without going through all these incidences. So, I'm still on the lookout, I'm still waiting, I'm sure a lot of you are waiting to see what improvements are going to happen. I think still we are two years two years to three years out uh, in regards to being able to drive our wheelchairs onto the aircraft. Um, they still want to do some experiments here in the U.S. I know Delta in uh, the U.K. <coughs> has to, they developed a, a model, but they still need to um, uh, practice. They need to they will need to test it and their model for the airplane and then get approval from their government and their Department of Transportation. So mm, that's gonna take a little bit. Uh, I know the United States has a team that is testing out uh, different models and uh, doing it the, the long way, the scientific way, and seeing what, what will be the safest way to allow wheelchair users to get on the plane with their wheelchair and not have to do all these transfers. So, so that's in progress. Uh, we, don't, we don't have a result yet. So I, I'm thinking that Delta will um, probably cross the finish line <coughs> first. So. <laughs> Um, so we're still in the waiting mode, uh, but still any issues with your wheelchair, please do not leave the airport until you've spoken to someone in customer service 
and um, have a plan on what's going to happen next with your with your wheelchair. So, so I will I will keep you up to date. And if somebody sees it before I do, <laughs> send me a send me an email, send me a message. Hey, Lisa, this came out. So I'll run over and check it and uh, make an email for everybody. So that's that's what I had in regards to uh, the Department of Transportation. That's where they're at. That's where um, Delta is at. Uh, I will post the uh, a link for the Bill of Rights uh, so that you will have it. <coughs> And and that's it's we're just in a holding pattern. Um, I think we're closer than we used to be. <laughs> um, oh, I think one thing that took me by surprise were the bathrooms, accessible bathrooms, because I'm not even sure how I would get to the bathroom if we're way up front. How are we going to get to the bathroom with our wheelchairs? I just <laughs> I, I can't imagine it right now. So. We'll just have to see. Um, I, I'm glad they thought of the bathrooms. I'm glad they they requested to the Department of Transportation accessible bathrooms, so we don't have to hold it <laughs> uh, as long as we do and do all these crazy maneuvers to be able to fly. So that's where we're at. That's where we're holding. <laughs> so I, I'm really hoping that we will have a, a, an answer for the Department of Transportation in 2024, uh, hopefully before November, before Christmas, uh, so that we have a clearer, uh, clearer idea as to where we stand and to have that pressure on the airlines to get their act together to get the training done and to have the proper tools to be able to do this. You know, I, I said to one of the airlines, I said, just go back to the drawing board, please. Go back to the drawing board and, and create tools that are going to be helpful for your staff, helpful for us. But I understand that it's hard to get over that um, transition between the aircraft and the uh, walkway. but. For Pete's sake, we're smart people. You could create, you know, some kind of uh, bridge in which you could, you know, transfer the 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 wheelchair over and not have to pick us up because that's where you're dropping us. <laughs> so it's anyway. Don't get me started. <laughs> I'll leave it at that, and I just promise to stay up to date. And if you see something before I do, just let me know, flag me down. Feel free to uh, like the video, to make comments. That all helps uh, the, the video to continue to spread and to know that I'm working on it and the channel is um, on, the, on the lookout for the updates from the DOT in regards to our our rights and rules and regulations for us to be able to travel a little bit more comfortable in in aircrafts. So, uh, so check the videos. Keep on watching the next video that I have down here, and uh, click the like button, and we're good to go.